For today's video, we are going to talk about how to find the inverse of one-to-one -one functions and we are going to explain everything in details. So when we say inverse of one-to-one -one function, let f be a one-to-one -one function with the domain a and range b, then the inverse of f denoted by f of negative 1 is a function with the domain b and range a defined by the inverse of y equals x if and only if f of x equals y for any y in b. Always remember, a function has an inverse if and only if it is one-to-one. -one. A function is one-to-one -one if the highest exponent is an odd number. But if the highest exponent is even number or an absolute value, this is not a one-to-one -one function. So these are the basic concepts that you need to remember in order for us to find the inverse of one-to-one -one function. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number 1, f of x equals 3x plus 2. To find the inverse of a one-to-one -one function, the first step that we are going to do is to write the function in the form of y equals f of x. So the equation of the function is y equals 3x plus 2. And then, let us interchange the x and y variables. y becomes x and x becomes y. So we are going to have x equals 3y plus 2. And then, let us solve for y in terms of x. Let us move 2 on the side of x. It will give us x minus 2 equals 3y. Let us divide both sides by 3. Let us cancel this one. So y equals x minus 2 all over 3. So the inverse of 3x plus 2, that is x minus 2 all over 3. And this will be our answer. On number 2, we have g of x equals x cubed minus 2. So let us write the function in the form of y equals f of x. So the equation of the function, that is y equals x cubed minus 2. Let us interchange x and y variables. y becomes x and x becomes y. So we are going to have x equals y cubed minus 2. So let us solve for y in terms of x. Let us move negative 2 on the side of x. It will give us y cubed equals x plus 2. And to eliminate the exponent, let us have the cube root on both sides of the equation. Let us cancel this one. So y equals cube root of x plus 2. Two. So the inverse of x cubed minus 2, that is cube root of x plus 2. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, we have f of x equals 3x minus 2 all over 5. So to find the inverse of a one-to-one -one function, let us write the function in the form of y equals f of x. So the equation of the function, that is y equals 3x minus 2 all over 5. Then, let us interchange x and y variables. So y becomes x and x becomes y. So we are going to have x equals 3y minus 2 all over 5. So let us solve for y in terms of x. Let us have 5 multiplied by x is 5x and then 3y minus let us move negative 2 on the side of 5x. It will give us 5x plus 2 equals 3y. Let us divide both sides by 3. Let us cancel this one. So y equals 5x plus 2 all over 3. So the inverse of 3x minus 2 all over 5, that is 5x plus 2 all over 3. And this will be our answer. On example number 4, f of x equals 2x plus 1 all over 3x minus 4. To find the inverse of a one-to-one -one function, the first step that we are going to do is to write the function in the form of y equals f of x. So the equation of the function that is y equals 2x plus 1 all over 
3x minus 4. And then, let us interchange the x and y variables. So y becomes x and x becomes y. So we are going to have x equals 2y plus 1 all over 3y minus 4. And then, let us solve for y in terms of x. So let us multiply x by 3y minus 4. And then we have 2y plus 1 x multiplied by 3y, that is 3xy. x multiplied by negative 4, that is negative 4x equals 2y plus 1. Since we are solving for y in terms of x, let us move negative 4 on the other side of equation and let us move 2y on the other side of the equation. So let us have 3xy minus 2y equals 4x plus 1. So let us factor this one. The greatest common factor between 3xy and negative 2y, that is y. And then 3xy divided by y, that is 3x. Negative 2y divided by y, that is negative 2, equals 4x plus 1. Let us divide both sides by 3x minus 2. Let us cancel this one. So y equals 4x plus 1 all over 3x minus 2. So the inverse of 2x plus 1 all over 3x minus 4, that is 4x plus 1 all over 3x minus 2. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, f of x equals x squared plus 4x minus 2. If you are going to observe, the given function is a quadratic function, and the graph of quadratic function is parabola. Therefore, this is not a one-to-one -one function because it fails on the horizontal line test. Always remember, a function has an inverse if and only if it is one-to-one. -to, -one. to determine if it is a one-to-one -one function, a function is 1 to 1 if the highest exponent is an odd number. But if the highest exponent is an even number or an absolute value, this is not a 1 to 1 function. Therefore, the function f of x equals x squared plus 4x minus 2 has no inverse function. And this will be our answer. On our last example, f of x equals x minus 1 all over 3x plus 5. To find the inverse of a 1 to 1 function, let us write first the given function in the form of y equals f of x. So the equation of the function that is y equals x minus 1 all over 3x plus 5. And let us interchange the x and y variables. So y becomes x and x becomes y, so we are going to have x equals y minus 1 all over 3y plus 5. And then let us solve for y in terms of x. So let us multiply x by 3y plus 5 equals y minus 1. x multiplied by 3y, that is 3xy. x multiplied by 5, that is 5x equals y minus 1. Since we are solving for y in terms of x, let us move y on the other side of equation and let us move 5x on the side of y minus 1. So let us have 3xy minus y equals negative 5x minus 1. So let us have y and then 3xy divided by y that is 3x. Negative y divided by y is negative 1 equals negative 5x minus 1. Let us divide both sides by 3x minus 1. Let us cancel this one. So y equals negative 5x minus 1 all over 3x minus 1. So the inverse of x minus 1 all over 3x plus 5, that is negative 5x minus 1 all over 3x minus 1. And this will be our answer. 
So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.